In today's Inside the Mind gameplay, we're going to be taking a look at how I use my uh, coverage schemes to manipulate my opponent. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Today's video is all about coverage schemes. I wanted to share a new tactic that I've been doing and it's actually come out really really well I just talked about it in the premium membership as well so if you guys don't have the premium membership uh, I think you're crazy because it's probably the best uh, as I give up a really really big touchdown it's probably the best product that I've ever created we just sent the update out it's about an hour and a half this week because I was a little bit behind so if you don't have it get it it's in the description you can check it out but there's a new coverage that I'm going with and I've actually really had a lot of success with it now the pro the only problem with it is what you just saw there um, not you don't get beat over the top like that every time but what happens is what mo what most people do is they play they, they don't use it right it's kind of a I call it like an X factor so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the deep safety like that's in the in the middle third and you're gonna put him in a hook in a hook curl so both safeties are gonna be in a hook curl like in a cover three and then your user, basically it's going to be cover two inverse, really, is really what it boils down to. And then you take your deep guys and you leave, but you leave the deep guys on the outside. You don't, you don't shade them. And I haven't really messed with that at all, but you guys can check that out. Uh, we'll, we'll get some of that coming up here. But offensively here, this is the offense. This is the New York Giants um, really starting to come, become comfortable. I've talked a lot about this in, in most of my videos. One of the biggest tips that I could give you guys for offense in this year's game, in every year's game, is to be consistent. Most people aren't consistent. It's just a reality. And so what happens is they go through and it's a different, every game is a different game. The, 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 the formations, they change formations. They run different plays. They, um, you know, they change personnel groupings. They go to three tight ends and then they go to, five wide and then they do this and that and the problem with that is is and i'm not again not mad at anyone who does that the what i would suggest you think about is the mental strain that you're putting on your mind when you're trying to play the game your mind can't process you, your mind can only process so much information you already have a lot of information to process when we talk about trying to figure out what the defense is doing with post snap reads i would rather just focus on my post snap reads then try to figure out where my receivers are going or what receivers open or what formation I want to call next. So for me, it's scripted out. I have going on every single time. All right, so defensively here, I'll show you this. So basically what you want to do is this LB cross and you can set the blitz up the way we do it in the premium membership. But you put these safeties in the hook curls and then you as a manual user, you're responsible for the deep, the deep middle. OK, so that's really the critical element to this. What it does, is it's a it's not again, this is not a standalone defense. It's very important that you understand me, because if you do the standalone, you're going to get burned. What you want to do is you want to mix it in, mix it in with cover two. So it looks very similar to cover two uh, as far as the middle coverage. The difference being there's more deep coverage in the cover two, and then in this cover three, there's more intermediate. So if you're getting hit with post routes, drag routes, crossing routes, I'm going to recommend that you check this little uh, tactic out. Uh, so like right here, third and three, short yardage down. So here you see I'm going hard flats. I got the curls. And then I'm going to manually cover this stuff deep. He goes with the screen pass, um, as you can see there. Another thing that I think a lot of people are struggling with this year, and this is a mistake that I've been making recently defensively, is I've kind of gotten a little bit uh, blitz happy, and I haven't stuck with my uh, mentality of only giving up field goals. And I've kind of tried to force my hand a little bit. This is a mistake that most people make, and it really comes out of a, a, a a feeling of they're trying to do too much. They're trying to do way too much defensively. Like right there, I got caught on my user player and they lurked him out. Normally I would be back there on that post route, but most people, this is this is really critical that you understand. Um, one of the things that I think people don't quite grasp when they're playing Madden is they don't grasp what can beat them. Like what, 
what the, the mechanics of the game are pretty simple. So if you call a Tampa 2, you, the cool part about it being a video game is you can pretty much guarantee what's going to beat you and what's not. Like, it's, it's very uh, it's very clear, you know, what they're going to be able to do. You're going to have, there's the post route from the, the whatever it was called, the, the single back tight. You know the post route for single back tight can beat cover 2. You know that that's really the only thing that can. The only other thing they're going to do is they're going to run a crossing route, like big deal, a drag. You know what I mean? But these are things that you have to think about as opposed to trying to stop everything, try to hone your focus in on, you know, what is the one or two things that they're probably going to do from this formation that can, in theory, beat me. So, like, right here, uh, we have – and then here I'll do it. If I really want to get crazy, I'll put that guy in the middle – in a deep third there you can see there's the crossing routes again once it crosses once they cross the crossing route i'm no longer concerned with it what i'm concerned with is the deep the deep post routes really is the only routes that i really fear anymore um the only route that i've really been beat by is a deep post is a, and not a not just a standard post but it's like a, a specially I mean, there's there's some packages that we could talk about in the premium membership down the road that you can use. That's really good. It's like this PA post route that I use. That's the route that I'm kind of scared about because it just seems like it can it can make some plays. Okay, it it can make some plays downfield. So again, most most of you guys, I would suggest you doing is again ask yourself really two questions. What is what is it that I need to um, do with my cover two to, to change it up. But I would suggest this new defense, this little, uh, basically it's just a cloud in the middle of the field. And what it's going to do is it's going to take away seams and drags because you're going hard flats on the outside. And then the other thing I would suggest you ask yourself is what, what one route or what one to two routes are they probably going to beat me with here? And then that's going to hone your focus in on it. So now you're going to be able to really, um, you know, to really do something against it. So anyways, guys, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video, and I want to encourage you to check out the premium membership if you haven't, uh, and those premium members, check 